Welcome back to Sipitata Films, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're coming at you with another draft prospect. Now, today's going to be a little different. Film's going to be real quick because we don't really have film that I can show on this guy. I found one game of the All-22 that I could show. And it was a bad game for him, so I decided not to even chop it up. So I just took notes on it, and it's about Greg Rousseau. If you can see from the, um, the thumbnail and, and whatnot, it's about Greg Rousseau from the University of Miami. Um... Opted out this year. Uh, had a huge year last year. Had like, let me see that right down. Had like 15, no, 15 and a half sacks or 19 and a half sacks or something like that. I think it's 15 and a half as a sophomore. And decided to opt out this year and didn't play. Um, so just based off last year, you think he is like by far and away the number one edge guy. But that's not the case. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read my notes to you. This video may be like three minutes long, but I'm going to give you my insight on Greg Russo. Uh, I got a physical freak. Uh, his his posture is like 6'7", long, thin guy, um, stronger than his body may look, but he's a physical freak. Uh, number two, he has an amazing first step, but that first step is amazing when he's at zero or one it gets a little elongated when he's out to at the uh, five technique or maybe a three so he does better with that first step against guards and centers than he does against tackles um looking at the film he can play zero one two three four four i and five technique uh very 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 versatile but in the nfl i think he cannot play zero one two and three i think in nfl he needs to be a five or a uh, wide nine or something like that um, I don't think he's strong enough he's strong but I don't think he's strong enough to make a huge impact just yet unless he spent this whole you know, uh, opt out year getting stronger and possibly he may have he may have because he didn't have games to play so it would be muscle mass that he would not lose so he may be stronger now uh, short area battles he's good and what I mean by that is if he's up against a center or a guard he wins those battles a lot against those guys. He he doesn't struggle per se versus tackles, but he don't dominate like I think he should. A lot of his his um production came from over the guards or center. Um, pass rush moves. What I saw on tape, he has a bull bull rush. Uh, he has a speed move, so he needs to develop more pass rush moves. He needs to get better with his uh arm swipes, his uh grip dip and rip, his uh cross chop. Any he needs to just Fill his tool back up with moves and not just have those two. Um, what else I got? He's athletic. He's athletic enough to spy uh, spy um, quarterbacks or cover running backs because what you don't really know is, and some of you may know, this is like his third year playing the D-line. He played receiver and um, DB, I think safety in high school, and played a little D-line because he was tall. But for the most, as far as being a primary defensive lineman, this is like his third year. So, and the word that's been used a lot with Russo is raw, and he is he's extremely raw. He, I don't think he's gonna come in and be a guy that contributes right off the bat. But if you're looking at upside overall, he, his ceiling is extremely high, extremely high. But as far as him coming in right now and giving you ten to twelve sacks, I don't think so. But, you know, the draft is about, you know, what you need. And if you got D linemen that you can kind of play with and then while you develop him, it's good. If you got guys you need to come in and play right now, he's probably not your guy. But, um, you know, that's my, my take on Greg Rousseau. And, you know, this is probably the most somberest one because I'm a huge Miami fan and I wanted him to be better on film that, than I saw. But, you know, I just got to keep it real. Got to keep it on 100. Keep it a stack, as the kids say. But, um, you know. Friday Friday afternoon. Enjoy your weekend, man. It's Coach Evans with Sipitata Films. This is my quick summation of Greg Rousseau from the U. I'm out.